one of the first teachers I ever had when I was six, his name was John Fernandez. And I always remember him because he had all daughters and our family, we had all sons and he had some fine daughters. So I would try to start off at first sounding good, but he didn't like to, you know, I wasn't serious. So I wouldn't practice because I didn't want my lips to, to look bad. And after one or two lessons, he was like, man, I don't know if this is for you. You know, you need to try to do something else because you don't want practice. And then eventually he kind of, he liked me a little bit. He said, okay. And they would, that's when you would have your music book and they would put the little snowflakes or the gold stars and stuff like that in it. So he would give me a, a, a face with a little thing turned down with a mouth turned down on it. And he would say, you did very bad. And uh, eventually I started to get the little stars, little gold stars or something. Well, the yeah. thing about practicing is that it's something that you have to do. I would say from the time I was six to 12, I would go to these different teachers, and when I would come home, I would tell my daddy, well, they didn't really teach me anything because they told me I have to practice to be good, and I know I have to practice already, so what do I need a teacher for? Well, eventually, when I was about 12, I realized that the systematic playing a thing every day and going through your deficiencies, that's what makes you a better musician, at least technically. And once I started to get over the fear of practicing, it became much easier to get better.